And thank you again for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternix. I feel like I haven't been doing a lot of videos lately, and that's mostly because, truthfully, I haven't been doing a lot of videos lately. Uh, I'm going to be making up for that. Today, we're going to be doing a quick video on my top 11 reasons to raise quail, whether that be in, a, in an urban environment, suburban environment, backyard, homestead. There's all sorts of environments where you can raise quail and I'm going to go over my top 11 reasons here today in this video. So stay tuned. Number 11 reason for raising quail is that they make really good showbirds. They've been making showbirds out of these birds for thousands of years and I don't see any end to that. There's some really exquisite breeds of these birds and I mean the research you can do is endless so check that out. The number 10 reason, number 10 reason on my list is, and this is what I've noticed from a lot of the other Facebook group users and folks that I've seen on YouTube, they make really good pets. Even if you're not going to raise them as poultry, as livestock, quail make really good pets. Caternix quail, in comparison to chicken at least, will, you know, sit and have a snack with you. Uh, they won't, well, I'm not going to say that you can't sit with a chicken, but chickens are a little bit more skittish than quail. Uh, quail, of course, are skittish, but they're easier to handle, you know, and they'll calm down and get familiar with you and, you know, sit with you for a little while at a time. They make really good pets. Now, my number nine reason for raising quail uh, here in my setup is it adds variety to the dinner table. So, you know, as I mentioned before in my videos, we as a society, especially here in America, tend to eat what we're told. We have chicken, beef, pork, you know, turkey the staples uh, when you add something like quail that is adding variety of course to your diet thus adding variety to your life you should check it out quail is a really delicious non-oily uh, mostly dark meat sort of bird and I mean unless you you know lump it over the head dispatch it and cook it right away it's never going to be dry at all this is always a tender meat so you should should definitely check it out it's worth a try my number eight reason for raising quail here in the city is that it's a lot less of a hassle than in comparison raising chicken, which I tend to compare to chickens a lot in this video. But anyway, uh, there's a lot less regulations. Uh, in this particular situation, uh, I'm in the state of New York. Caternix quail aren't a native species, so technically I didn't even need the state permit that I got in order to, you know, raise birds, but I wanted to cover my bases. Uh, there are city permits needed to raise chickens. Uh, we can go over that in a later video, but, you know, quail seem to be the loophole. Now, my number seven reason for raising quail. Now, if you've been watching this video for any amount of time, I've been standing in front of this hutch and they haven't made much noise at all. Number seven reason for raising quail over, you know, having a bunch of chickens is the fact that they're a lot quieter. They don't make anywhere near as much noise as chickens do. I have uh, right now probably about 40 birds behind me. They're not making anywhere near as much noise as, you know, 40 chickens would at any given time of day. Now my number six reason goes hand in hand with the number seven reason. Quail are smaller, so they take up a lot less space. There's no way I could shove 40 chickens into this hutch, no matter, you know, even if they were, you know, smaller chickens or Cornish hens, I really wouldn't even feel that great about shoving 40 of them in there. But, you know, quail, I have enough room for, well, don't even get me started on the numbers because uh, that could cause a whole lot of controversy. Anyway, quail are a lot smaller than chickens. Again, we're comparing the chickens, but that's what a lot of people raise in their backyards as far as poultry. So that's the comparison we're making. See, quail are a lot smaller than chicken and they're easier to handle. This guy's getting stressed out, so I'm gonna put him back uh, or her back. I'm assuming it's a her. I don't have that many roosters. And there's still maybe five or six in there that I haven't figured out if they're male or female yet. So anyway, now my number five reason for raising quail is the food cost. 
Food costs is, I'm not gonna say it's next to nothing because of course there is a cost involved uh, anytime you're feeding any sort of animal, but the return that you get, depending on what you're you know, doing, unless you're keeping these animals as pets, you will get a return on your investment. Uh, I pay for a 40 pound bag of feed, less than $15. And you know, that'll last me about a month. And that's with anywhere from between 50 and 60 birds. Uh, no, not a month, I'm sorry. Give it about two and a half to three weeks with 50 to 60 birds. And, you know, considering if you went ahead and slaughtered all those birds once they got to full weight, uh, you would have maybe purchased two to two and a half bags of feed. Uh, and, you know, you figure that at $45 and you slaughter, let's say 50 birds, that's less than a dollar. I mean, I really like the math on that. So, you know, you'd be doing yourself a lot better in, in food cost to raise quail as opposed to chicken. Now, my number four reason is in general, they're easier to raise than almost any other livestock you're going to find. I mean, whether that be avian or, you know, pig, goat, sheep, cow, whatever. Uh, quail are going to be a lot easier than that. I've dealt with a few animals. I mean, I'm not going to say I've been a rancher or a farmer my whole life, but I've dealt with a few animals. And as far as, you know, cleaning, feeding, everyday maintenance goes, quail is where it is. I'm, you know, I'm loving these animals and they definitely they definitely keep me entertained now the number three reason is the absolute turnaround time on the meat now again we did mention this a little bit earlier but the turnaround time on the meat in itself uh, let's think about this you get an egg you incubate said egg that takes 19 days after that 19 days you've got about six weeks before that quail is fully grown and ready to be processed. The turnaround time altogether is less than less than nine weeks. And that's, uh, as far as birds go, that's probably one of the lowest you're gonna get as far as turnaround times. Uh, so again, turnaround time on meat, if you're processing these birds for meat, is my number three reason for keeping quail here in my backyard. My number two reason for keeping quail here in my backyard uh, goes hand in hand with the number three reason and that's actually the turnaround time on the eggs again 19 days for the incubation of the eggs but once these birds actually hatch they're laying eggs five weeks later no other bird does that i'm not going to say no other bird does that but quail is one of the only backyard meat birds that you're going to get that will start to lay eggs at such a high rate so early in the game five weeks uh is the usual turnaround time that i'm getting from the time that they hatch and that makes it worthy to be number two on my list in my opinion all right folks and my number one reason for raising quail is because i get to learn something new every day there's a lot of people in the community that you know provide information for each other. I try my best to do as much as I can to provide information to you guys, but me, myself, I get to learn something new every day, whether it be from another YouTube channel, whether it be from a Facebook group or, you know, a book. Uh, I'm not gonna say a magazine. I haven't picked up a magazine in a while, but mostly the internet, uh, old research papers. There are a lot of research papers out there and I'm actually, you know, I'm very fascinated with learning. So this provides me with the chance to, again, learn something new every day. Number one reason, hands down, I get to learn something new every day is an experience in itself. So I'd like to thank you for watching the video. Let me know down in the comments your reasons for keeping whatever kind of animals you keep at home. Again, this is the New York Eternix channel, but we do, you know, want to hear about whatever kind of animals you have on your homestead, whatever kind of animals you're raising in your backyard. Just show us what you got. All right. And once again, I'd like to thank you from New York Eternix. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, leave a like for the video and subscribe to the channel for more. We're always coming back with more videos and we're always looking forward to seeing you there. The t-shirts are on sale. Uh, as you can see, we have the New York Eternix t-shirts. This is the original right here. I have some more for sale. So if you, you know, want to go ahead and purchase one of those, the link is below down in the description. 
Uh, again, thanks for the support thus far. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. Again, almost at a thousand subscribers. We started this channel in June. We are in October and we're about to hit that mark. And again, that's all thanks to you guys. Thank you for the support.